Welcome to the Becology mobile app tutorial. If you're reading this from the Becology web portal, you can find a download link for the mobile app below this video and a link to our app on the Google Play Store. To launch the app, tap the Becology icon from your app launcher or on your home screen. From here, you have several options for logging a new bee. Take a still picture using your device's camera, take a video and use editing tools to capture the best still frame, or import a picture you've already taken. On the bottom bar, you'll find other helpful links. You can view your logs and submit them to our database, open the bee decks to get more information about local species, read a tutorial about how to take better logs, or open settings to log into your account. Let's try logging a bee. The app will ask permission to view your location in order to tie geographical data to the bee log. If you like, you can deny this and manually select a location later on. Once you've taken your video that is 6 to 12 inches away from the bee, with the bee seen from top or side views, you can slow down the footage to take a still image of a clear frame. If you've taken a video, you can slow down the footage down afterward. Try to look for a clear frame and zoom in if the bee is too small. Then, you can take a still image of the best frame. Here is an example of a good shot. Even though it can be blurry, as long as the colors on all three segments of the bee's body are in view, the picture will work. In this bad shot, not all parts of the bee are visible. Even if the photo quality is National Geographic worthy, if not all parts of the bee are in view, the species cannot be identified. If you already have an image of your bee, you can upload it from your photos. Once you have a clear picture of your bee, you'll be asked to verify the date and select the rough location you took your photo. Pan around the map to select a location. Previously selected locations will be saved, so you can add multiple bees from the same location easily. Select Guided ID, and you will be asked a series of questions about your bee's physical attributes. If you cannot clearly see the features described, you may wish to take a different picture at a better angle. First, roughly select the color distribution on your bee's abdomen. Then, you will be asked to scroll through a series of color patterns that match your bee. Select the closest match. You will be asked to repeat this process for the thorax and head of your bee. As you do so, the graphic on the left of the screen will update with your selections. This should be used to compare with your chosen image on the right. When you are done, select Identify my bee, and you will be shown the species and an image of the bee that matches your selections. If this is incorrect, select Not My Bee and start over. Otherwise, we can continue to identifying the flower your bee is on. If possible, you should identify the flower your bee is on and what behavior it exhibited on the flower. Give the flower a name. These are for record purposes only. You don't need to know the exact species of the flower. Select the shape of the flower from the drop-down menu. Then select the color of the flower. Next, determine if your bee was collecting pollen or nectar while it was on the flower. For determining this, see our tutorial section on identifying bees and behavior. From here, you can submit your log to your local device and submit it from the logs button on the home screen. You will be asked to provide your email address for identification purposes. From this screen, you can view your logs and submit any previously unsubmitted log. That's it. Your logs will be received by our system and used to assist our project's conservation efforts. Thank you for contributing to the Becology project.